Hi, I'm Grant Kibbe. I teach American government for ECOT, and I'm also the Global Scholars Program Advisor. And I live with my wife on a little farm in Radnor, Ohio, just outside Delaware. Um, behind us, you can occasionally hear our flock of layers, and their big rooster that keeps care of them is, is called LeBron, and he's pretty noisy. And then we have about 10 guinea fowl out there as well, which are our other guard dogs, and they chase off all the predators that we have out here. And uh, I went to Ohio State University. I did not grow up on a farm, but I've always had a passion for growing things. And when I got my first house down in the city, I, I tore up the entire yard and, and it was all a garden. We inherited a couple of hundred year old apple trees with the farm when we got the farm and also planting additional apple trees around the farm as we figure out how to keep them alive. A, a conventional organic farmer or even farmers back in the 1800s would plow their ground or, or turn their ground over both to incorporate residues and to provide more fertility in the ground and to kill weeds. Um, the problem with tillage is that it reduces the amount of organic matter in the soil. And organic farming is based on the decomposition of that organic matter slowly over time to provide nutrients. So what we're doing, trying to do is get away from tillage to maximize the nutrients in our soil. Get to the cot! Eat hot, baby!